What is up, Autograph Nation? TTM Troy here from TTMAutograph.com. You know where I'm from already because you 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 guys have been watching my videos for quite a while. And I've been so happy that I've been able to start sharing some of these TTMs with you that I've had the time to, to film and edit and release and do all that fun stuff. Hang out on YouTube, uh, hang out on Instagram, and kind of talk to you about TTMs the way I used to. <laughs> you know, I started this on... 2012 here on YouTube and I'm still going strong so thank you if you have been here with me the entire time and no matter when you started watching these videos thank you I really appreciate all of your support and all I ask is for a like and to make sure you're subscribed that's all I ask because that helps me find out that I'm doing a good job because I need that kind of motivation <laughs> and speaking of motivation you guys are motivating me to get right into this TTM video see what I did there all right here's the first one rev it up now here we go here boom all right first we have Guy Carbonell he signed two of two in 52 days now I sent these on October 9th of 2022 and received them on November 30th of 2022 and you can see the address on sports card forum because the address is not a totally public address. Now he was drafted 44th overall in 1979 and played from 1980 to 2000 for the Canadians and then the Blues and then the Dallas Stars. And he was actually a Stanley Cup winner uh, in 1985 to 86, 1992 to 93 season and 1999. So three times Stanley Cup winner. And he went on to coach with the Canadians and was elected to the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2019. So very cool. Thank you, Guy, for sending these back. I really appreciate it. Next, we have Jeff Branson. He signed three of three in 86 days. Now I sent these on September 5th of 2022 and received them on uh, November 30th of 2022. And the address for Mr. Branson is on Sports Card Forum. Now he was drafted by the Reds in the second round of the 1988 amateur draft and went on to play from 1992 to 2001 for a variety of teams, including the Reds, the Indians, and the Dodgers. And then he went on to coach with the Pirates and the Toledo Mud Hens. Now he won a gold medal in the 88 Seoul Olympics. And during his career in the majors, he had a batting average of .246 with 34 home runs and 156 RBIs. Jeff Branson. Next we have Al Bumbry. He signed two of one in 22 days. And if you're like, Troy, how is that possible? How does someone sign two of one? Well, I'll show you here in a little bit. So here, let's go back to the first one here. <laughs> I sent these on September 5th of 2022 and received them on September 27th of 2022. And you can see the address for Mr. Bumbry right there. Now, he is an all-star, a World Series champion, a Rookie of the Year, an Orioles Hall of Fame member, and also has a bronze star from the U.S. Army. So a very decorated guy here. And he played from 1972 to 85 for the Orioles for most of his career, and then the Padres in 1985. And here's the actual... Uh, other thing that he sent, uh, I don't think that's going to focus right there, but uh, this is actually a postcard. So he actually included this on his own. So that is the two. So I sent him one card and he sent back like a, a four by six as well as the card. So that is how it is two of one. So let's go back to this card and you can see it a little close up here. Here you go. He ended his career with a .281 batting average with 54 home runs and 402 RBIs. There you go. He also went on to coach for the Red Sox, the Orioles, the Indians. And so thank you very much. Al Brumbry, two of one in 22 days. Next we have Bruce Benedict. He signed two of two in 11 days. Now I sent this on uh, August 27th of 2022 and received it on September 7th of 2022. And you can see the address that I sent to right there. Now, he was drafted in the fifth round of the 1976 Major League Draft. So, there you go. And he played from 1978 to 1989, his entire career, for the Braves. 
He is a two times All Star in 1981 and 83. And during his career, he had a .242 batting average with 18 home runs and 260 RBIs. Then after playing, he went on to coach in the Mets organization and was also a scout for the Cardinals and the White Sox. And he actually has a little baseball academy where he teaches players how to play the game of baseball, which is good because he didn't play hockey. So there you go. Bruce Benedict, <laughs> two of two in 11 days. I wanna thank everybody for joining me today as I tell you some of these successes from 2022 and I promise I will get into more recent returns now that I'm actually sending more out here in 2024. But I thought you would definitely like to see some of these things that I've been trying to get caught up on lately. And rather than just do one mega video, I thought I'd space them out for you. Hopefully you approve. So hopefully you have been getting in some great returns because as I'm always fond of saying, may your mailboxes be full and your stamps forever. Bye-bye. <laughs>